Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 166 in the series of basic math. Today we'll do. Today we'll have our ninth lesson, ninth video in the series of ten on the topic of linear equations. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. We are we are told that two x over 5 plus 3x over 6 equals half plus x minus 1. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. First thing we should notice is that we have a 3 here on the top, we have a 6 at the bottom. If you were to, if you were to drag this 3 and the 6 throughout the entire journey, it will be a hassle. We can reduce it. If you can reduce it, we will have to do less work. Just divide top and bottom by 3 right away. So 3 goes away and 6 becomes 2. So what we end up here is 2x plus 5 plus x over 2. And then we have the rest of this stuff. Next thing we notice is that we have a 5 here, we have a 2 here, we have a 2 here. Somehow we have to get rid of this denominator. Somehow we have to get rid of this denominator. And the easiest, the quickest, the simplest way is to look for the smallest possible number that is a multiple of both 5 and 2. The smallest possible number, the least common multiplier here is 10. Let's multiply this entire equation by 10 so that we can get rid of this 5, this 2 and this 2. Entire equation by 10, every single term. We're going to take this first term right here. We're going to multiply it by 10. We're going to take our second term right here, which is x over 2, right here, x over 2. You can multiply that by 10. And here we have half. Here we have half. We're going to multiply that half by 10. And finally, we have x minus 1. We're going to multiply that by 10. As you can see, we multiply an entire equation by 10. And since, we're, since, since we are multiplying every single term by 10, we have not changed anything. It's the same equation being multiplied by 10 throughout. So both, both sides are still equal to each other. Now we can get rid of our 5. We have a 5 at the bottom, we have 10 at the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 goes away and 10 becomes 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so we end up with 4x here. We have a 2 at the bottom, we have 10 at the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. 2 goes away and five, 10 becomes 5. When I say go away, so technically it becomes 1, but you don't have to write 1 if you don't want to. It will be silly to write 1, there will be no point in it. Here we have a 2 and a 10. 2 goes away and 10 becomes 5. So what do we end up here? We end up with 5. 5 times x, we end up with 5x. And here we end up with simply 5. Remember, the third term did not have any x in it. It was just a half, so it becomes a 5 when you multiply it by 10. Half times 10 is 5. And here we'll end up with 10 times x, which is 10x. And 10 times minus 1 is 3 minus 10. Now we just combine everything. We have 4x and a 5x, that's a 9x, equals 10 minus 5 minus 10 is negative 5, so let's put down here it's 10x, right here, 10x minus 5. Now, if you were to subtract, if you were to subtract, if you were to bring this 10x on this side, we could do it, but then we'll end up with a negative coefficient here. I don't like having a negative coefficient uh, in, with the variable, so let's instead of, instead of bringing 10x to the left hand side, let's bring the 9x to the right hand side. Let's, this is the positive 9x, let's subtract 9x from here, let's subtract 9x from here, and bring the 5 to that side. Add 5 to this side, add 5 to that side. There we go. Positive x and a negative x will kill each other. We'll end up with just a 5. 5 equals, and let's see what we have here. We have a negative 5 and a positive 5. They're going to get rid of each other. And we have 10x minus 9x. 10x minus 9x is just an x. There we go. x equals 5. Now, the last thing we need to do here, last, last thing we need to do here, is to make sure that our answer is correct. We're going to go back and put it back in the original equation and make sure it works. So let's do it. 2 times x. 2 times x, which we are claiming to be 5. 2 times x over 5 plus x over 2. x over 2 plus x, which is 5 over 2, has to equal, this has to equal half, half plus x minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 because x is 5. Let's see what this gives us. We see 5 on the top, we see 5 on the bottom, 5 is going to drop out, we end up with just a 2. 2 plus 5 over 2, 5 over 2 is 5 halves, 5 halves is just 2 and a half. It's just a 2 and a half, and here we have a half plus 5 minus 1 is 4. 
four, four plus a half, as you can clearly see, is four and a half, and two plus two and a half is also four and a half, which means our answer is correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.